Okay, so today we will see about how internet infrastructure works. Last classes we uh, we got to know who governs the internet. There are four organizations who govern the internet. Now there are different infrastructures uh, that is uh, linked with internet. How this infrastructure works, we will see. First is ISP, that is Internet Service Provider. Uh, an internet service provider is an organization that provides services for accessing, using or participating in internet. So uh, if you want to connect your computer or mobile phone to internet, there should be someone who provides this internet service to you. Right now you are, ex uh, you are browse browsing through YouTube and for that there is some service provider that is uh, your network provider who provides you who is providing you internet so you can see that uh, whatever sim you are using like vodafone airtel idea bsnl so whatever company you are using it so they are all internet service provider they provide us internet so different different company you can say they are all isp that is internet service provider next is ip that is internet protocol in last class i told you that protocol means it is a set of rules which uh, which the computer used to communicate with <coughs> each each other so when these two computer uh, they interact with each other they are using some rules so these rules are known as internet protocol so that by definition if you see the internet protocol is a principal communication protocol in, in internet the internet protocol suit for relaying datagrams across network boundaries so ip you just need to remember that it's a internet protocol for connecting uh, internet or for communicating with other computers we need some protocols this is known as the internet protocol so how how does the internet protocol looks like means yeah, ip addresses you can say here you can see sender or your mobile phone has one unique ip address that is 192.16.00.12 this unique address is different for every user and uh, it has connected through some tower that internet and then you are receiving it the server side you can say 192.00.00.75 that is the recipient side okay so youtube also has some uh, ip addresses you are also having some ip addresses so you are the sender side of ip address and youtube has its own ip address and you are connecting through a tower okay that is uh, this is how computers or mobile phones are connecting through uh, different servers uh, here you can see one term packet is used so packets means uh, it is a block of data so when some informations or data are transferred from one mobile phone or one device to another device you can say they are actually these data are packed in a certain amount like only 2 gb or uh, 2 mb information will be sent so this 2 mb 2 mb information when this uh, entire information is break down into small small uh, packets you can say this is all uh, like informations are actually broken down into small packets and after that it is sent then tcp uh, transmission control protocol so transmission control protocol is a standard that defines how to establish and maintain a network con conversation through which application programs can exchange data so tcp uh, tcp is a is a control you can say tcp is a kind of protocol that entire how entire establishment is done uh, first uh, that uh, connection is established between your device and the server then from the server again there will be a response then after that response is uh, received by the receiver after that they transfer the information so just just clicking send button uh, you are sending information which looks like very easy but at background there are lots of process going on so that is uh, this is done by transmission control protocol in last class also i, I have might have shown you that how sender sends in for a signal synchronized then again syn synchronized acknowledgement is sent by receiver after that sender will send the information http http is a set of rules for transferring files such as text image sound video other multimedia uh, on the world wide web so http whenever you are browsing through internet through a browser that uh, then this rule the this http rule is used uh, maybe it is for transferring text or image or sound or right now you are watching this video 
even watching this video uh, from YouTube server to your browser uh, it is using this HTTP protocol next resources what are the different resources required for uh, required to connect with internet so we need something right some devices are required only then we can connect uh, to the internet so uh, in computer whenever some computers are connected it is said that there it should be at least the hard disk should be at least 20 GB RAM minimum it should be 4 GB mod there should be some modem uh, like either it will be a telephone line or it will be a uh, what do you call that there is there are some small devices which you can uh, modem devices there I don't I don't remember exactly the name so there are some small devices which are connected to the CPU and that uh, show that CPU you can so that small device the CPU can connect to the internet then internet applications of softwares like Mozilla or uh, um, Google Chrome or Opera Mini these are different type of browsers through which you can connect to uh, connect to the internet now there are other terms like gateway okay earlier in that uh, here hard disk minimum 20 GB or RAM 4 GB even in computers where RAM is minimum like 1 GB or 2 GB even they, they can connect to internet but uh, in book it is written 4 GB and hard disk I don't think you will get uh, less than 512 GB every hard disk nowadays are minimum 1 TB or more than 1 TB but still minimum you will get nowadays of 512 uh, uh, GB and RAM size you will get of, uh, of 4 GB uh, means RAM you will get less than also 4 GB like 2 GB and all okay so leave with this portion okay gateway so gateway you can say it allows different network to communicate with each other using different protocol so gateway uh, uh, let's say in our com uh, computer lab there is LAN connection okay then an another school maybe have uh, LAN connection so these two LAN connection if you want to connect it then you will need a device that device will be known as a gateway okay so even through that gateway you can connect to rest of the internet so all all the computers all the networks different type of networks whether it's a LAN connection or it's a MAN connection they all are connected through gateway backbone backbone is a network central structure which connect network with each other and hence it is the most important part of the internet so here you can see that uh, blue color straight line is uh, is known as the backbone and left side or right side you can see the bridge are there bridge are actually there are some devices they are named as bridge uh, through, through network backbone uh, backbone they are connected to a bridge and through, uh, to means to the bridge switches are connected and through switch LAN connection are connected so you can say this backbone are uh, are also some uh, devices which connect different networks then types of internet access so different type of internet access are there you are directly uh, connecting through a mobile phone right but uh, there are other also the way of connecting to the internet first is dial up connection it uses a telephone line or cable to dial into isp and modem attached to the computer so there are certain disadvantage for dial up connection that is dial up connections are very slow connection when connected to the internet same line cannot be used for making or receiving call so earlier uh, those wires which were connected to uh, landline phone same connection uh, was used for internet access so if you are using internet you cannot make call or receive call but if you are because that wire is actually connected to our cpu but again if this uh, uh, wire is connected to telephone uh, that is telephone line then you cannot access to internet so that was a disadvantage dial up connection uh, looks like this uh, i don't know have you if you have seen in your computer or not in your computer if you go to the settings of uh, network you can see this so there will be some username you have to give a password and you can <coughs> dial it you can click on dial and you can connect to the internet even through mobile phone you can uh, connect uh, through this process next is broadband connection you must have heard about broadband connections so broadband connection is a very high internet access <coughs> high speed internet action <coughs> access it does not even disturb your telephone use it carries both voice and data over a 
single wire it is available in three ways so if you use broadband connection same wire will be connected to uh, telephone and also to your computer so it's a three way connection and it will not disturb your uh, telephone if you are calling someone you can call and if you are using data also you can use data so it, it has a advantage over dial up connection so broadband connection you, have, you can see first is uh, cable modem so using a cable modem you can connect to internet so this is a device you, you have to take this device and through this device you can connect your telephone line and at the front side there will be two wires one will one will be connected to your landline and the other wire will be connected to the cpu so they, this is a cable modem next is uh, dsl and satellite so if you see dsl these are like this so dsl are also dsl are also a kind of a device which connect both cpu and then uh, this landline this is the image of dsl and satellite <coughs> so a satellite we all know about satellite connection you will have some satellite router and through that router we, uh, it, we can connect it to the telephone or also we can connect it to computer or a laptop even through satellite we can connect internet then wireless internet connection earlier uh, those uh, broadband connections or uh, dial-up connection these are all wired connection <coughs> for wireless internet connection we uh, we can use technologies like Wi-Fi WiMAX and satellite so the wireless technology uses radio or microwave or transmission of data you can ask a question that before this slide a satellite connection was there but this satellite connection you can see the, there are some wires connected to um, to some devices satellite routers and through that routers wires are connected to the computer but in satellite connection in wireless satellite connection they are cut directly uh, connected to mobile phone you can see like satellite connection you are getting it to uh, those towers and show towers we are getting it to our mobile phone okay so this is a wireless connection then Wi-Fi connection are also uh, available they, those are also wireless internet connection and this wireless connection they uses radio wave or microwave for transmission of data thank you uh, if you have any question you can ask and uh, don't forget to drink water and after you have watched this video rub your uh, both palm and apply it to your eyes it will give it will relax it will relax your eyes okay you have been doing online classes for a long time so just rub your eyes uh, sorry rub your palms and place it over your eyes it will give you relax relaxation to your eyes okay thank you